Hello, hello. So I'm going to show you how to get surround sound on the Windows 11. I did a previous video on this on, on how to do it on Windows 10. Basically the same thing uh, on Windows 11. It just how to get there in the settings is slightly different. But uh, yeah, um, I have this amplifier. It's a surround sound amplifier. Uh, you might have like surround sound headphones or whatever. Uh, but I have the external surround sound amplifier. And most people might actually just connect an optical cable from the computer to the optical input here on the back on the amplifier. Or you might have a coaxial cable. The optical is usually most common. I'm not getting this to work with surround sound. I only get stereo or two channels uh, with this. So I don't use the optical cable. Instead, I actually got an HDMI cable and I connect that to the graphics card on the computer, an HDMI output on the graphics card. And I connect it to the uh, input, one of the input channels here. Uh, I have it connected to channel number one input. Uh, I suggest not to connect the output to anything. Give the HDMI out and the so-called arc. Um, some people might connect uh, like a monitor to this. The problem with that is that uh, the uh, monitor will show up as a playback device, not the amplifier. So I just have the uh, input here, H input number one connected, nothing else. Um, so that's that, uh, that's pretty simple. And yeah, right now I have the C910 connected here and you can see at my amplifier, it just, yeah, I renamed it's HDMI one. I re renamed it as well to my computer name. And to the right here, you see the volume level. And also you see what speakers are sort of connected or working. Right now it's just set to stereo. So there's left, right, and then the subwoofer. So how do you actually get surround sound then? Well, you actually do it like this. Uh, on the Windows 11, you have the speakers here uh, next to the time and date. The speaker icon, you right click on it and you select sound settings. And I don't really use this sound settings, so I just minimize this. I have a lot of inputs and outputs. Um, and under advanced section here, you have the more sound settings. I click on that one and close this. And you get this little option because I think this works actually better. And here I have the playback tab and all of my inputs or playable devices. For example, my headphones, uh, they are connected to an external microphone or headphone amp or DAC slash amp. It's connected to USB. Then I got my monitors and down here is the actually uh, so digital output for the uh, built-in audio in on the motherboard. So this will be uh, your like optical and coaxial outputs. If I right click on it, I don't really get any options to configure the speakers. I can just uh, test them or disable or set default. I uh, can't really do anything with that. So what you do here, for example, over here, <coughs> my amplifier shows up. If you connect a monitor or TV to the amplifier, the output, that uh, TV name will show up here. 
that or the amplifier name and this shows up just as hdr 2071 so what i did here uh, it's also the icon is a tv so i just uh, double clicked it here and added yamaha to it i also clicked it change icon so instead of having a tv it's just this sort of device so that's the first thing i did and then you actually need to right click on this one and here you can see i got an extra option called configure speakers uh, some people might actually get that configure speakers with the optical but i don't um, same thing here if i click on the configure speakers on my headphone amp uh, i can only so select stereo because it only supports stereo. Um, so what you need to do next is that you right click on your amplifier or your headphones or whatever, configure speakers. As you can see right now, it's just stereo by default. And I got some more options here. I got surround sound options. Uh, I, my amplifier is just 5.1 surround, you might have 7.1, mine is just 5.1, so that's what I select, then click next, and then you can select what speakers you have connected to the amplifier, and I got all of them, so I just keep them checked, and then you go to select full range speakers, and that means if you got like floor speakers or those small satellite speakers. My front and left or my front left and right uh, speakers are full range speakers, so, so to speak, but not the surround sound. So I just deselect that. So the surround sound and the center are actually just small speakers. And then next and finish. And you should now have set up surround sound for your amplifier. And of course, if you're going to use just your amplifier as your default playback device, you need to right click on it and select set as default device. But the thing is that I got all of these virtual cables and I also got the voice meter installed. So I actually got this one as my default device. And I also need to set up this as uh, those surround sound. So I do the same thing here, right click on it, configure speakers. And it's also set to stereo by default. So I just click 5.1. Next, same thing set up here. And now you're done. Um, what I need to do, if you got voice meter, uh, you need to kind of reset this. Okay, so that's kind of weird. Okay. You need to kind of restart the audio engine. Because every time you do some weird settings, in the sound settings, you need to sort of restart the voice meter thing. And if I actually go to my activate my C910 you now see that on the speaker stuff here to the right uh, instead of just having left right and subwoofer I now got left center right and and also the subwoofer the center channels and surround sound so now I got uh, all the six channels going here yeah that's how you actually get surround sound working the easiest way at least uh, there are some other options uh, uh, to get it working with uh, the optical output but it's a little bit of a hassle to do that so uh, and it, it might not work either so <clears throat> yeah that's how you kind of fix the uh, surround sound on Windows 11.
Catch you later.